Hi, this is Annette with DigitalPhotographyHowTo.com and today I'm going to show you how to edit photos using Picasa. So you'll just bring up your Picasa software and you'll choose which images you want to edit. And we'll take this picture right here. So what you're going to do is just double click on the picture that needs to be edited. And then we'll open up in this screen right here. Over to the left you can see that you can crop the pictures, so we'll, we'll do that first. You can choose 4x6, 8x10, or 5x7 because those are the main sizes that you, anybody would want to crop to and they are actually different. The 4x6 is a lot taller than the 8x10 when it's printed so it crops differently. So if you want to print them as 4x6s, you can choose 4x6 and then or you can just choose manual so that you can make it a square or a really long rectangle but we'll just go with four by six for now then you'll come over here to your picture and you'll just drag and you can see that it shades out the other area once you've let go you if you don't like what you did you can go up to the corners and make it smaller or bigger and you can go to the middle and move it around and then when you're done you can either hit enter or you can come over here and click apply and then you can see that it changed the image now one of the really fun things about Picasso is that it does the thinking for you you can just choose I'm feeling lucky right here and it automatically will read the picture and try to make it the best color possible if you don't like what it did you can go over and choose undo I'm feeling like and it will go back to the original color then you can do it all manually if you want you can remove red eye so you just click remove red eye and we don't have a problem with red eye in this picture but I'll just show you what you do you just come up to the eye and you're gonna just draw a little square around it and then when you leave the red So you'll just go to each eye and that didn't work because it, I, I had the off center. So we're going to go to reset for that and then it automatically undid what it did. Then you'll hit cancel to go back and you can choose auto contrast and then what you do is you just it just automatically did it for you you don't have to do anything else you can do auto color and you can see that it made my picture really blue so I'm gonna go back and choose undo auto color and you can even step back one more time you can redo it again or you can just step back again to undo the color. So you can add a fill light right here you just slide a slider right here and it will automatically brighten your pictures too Okay, and then when you're done, you can just move to the next image just by clicking the arrow, and you can do the same thing. So we'll come back over here. You can crop it. You can straighten it. If you want this bridge to look straight in the picture, you can click straighten. And then right down here, you'll grab onto this little slider, and you'll slide it one way or the other. And right here, we're trying to make that bridge straight and then we'll click apply and then it automatically straightened out the picture then we'll go back over and we'll click I'm feeling lucky see if we like what it did so we zoomed in okay and I don't like what it did so I'm gonna undo it and then I'll just add a little bit of fill light and then you can go through and do all the rest of the pictures in your album and then when you're done, you'll just go over to back to library. And then when you're ready to leave, it will ask you if you want to save the changes that you made. And then you just click OK and choose where to save them. And that's all there is to it.